and welcome to Plumeria Plate and welcome to the 100 baby challenge. Last episode, we just had baby number 30, which means it was time for us to move to a new world and a new house. So far, we've been moving for every 10 babies, although we are about to up the ante on this challenge a little bit, so we may move less. Let me know your thoughts in the comments after I explain to you the new plan. So it took us a while to catch up to number of babies as number per episodes, but now I feel like if we keep moving at this rate, it's gonna get boring, quite frankly. So for our newest house we are going to be turning on the lot trait that gives us more likely chances to have twins and i'm gonna try to far exceed the number of babies as number per episodes but let's go ahead and hop into the let's play and i'll explain a little bit more as we go so first of all welcome to our new house we did decide to move to the world of brindleton bay i posted the speed build of this a couple of days ago i'll go ahead and link it in the top now just in case you're interested in watching it but i will give you a tour as well but i came across an inspiration photo on Pinterest and I felt like we had to move here but here is a look at everything it's pretty simple we were running out of money I actually have less money in the build that I did but I ended up finding some stuff to sell in Ashton's inventory and a couple other places so we're a little better off than we were but still not great so we only have 389 simoleons right now but here's a look at the house We've got a big teen area over here. Here's where their room is gonna be. We got some clothes. I'm thinking maybe we can make and sell some outfits, but they've got chess tables and each of the kids has like their own little area of the room in a different color. It's obviously not made for any children specifically because it can't be. And we also got a hamster. Right next door to that is our kids room. We've got four kids bunk beds because the bunk beds make it where you can't get the monsters under the bed. And so I really think that that's going to be better for us in the long haul. I also got some science tables for them. Then we have our public bathroom. If you've never seen the 100 baby challenge before or watched mine, the public bathrooms just make it so much easier because you can have all your sims in the same bathroom at the same time. And across the hallway, we've got Ashton's, what I'm calling like an apartment. She has her own little separate door. We are going to adopt a cat also, but she has her own little separate door and the cat has theirs and this is all her. So this is her patio, her bedroom, her bathroom and then her room that we haven't decided what it's gonna be yet, mainly because we ran out of money, but also I would love some ideas from you guys. The only thing that's in here right now is this little wall of pictures that looks like she's trying to pick out her next baby daddy. So that's all she's got in there at the moment. But let me know what you think that room should be. I was thinking like a sauna spa, although I don't know if she can use the sauna when she's pregnant. We might have to go to a spa and test that. I was also thinking maybe a gym could be nice or we could make it like a little cozy reading room or maybe like a big movie theater. I don't know. What do you think Ashton needs that the kids cannot have access to? Because that is Ashton's room and Ashton's room only. I even briefly thought about the idea of like a woohoo room, but I didn't know if that was too far. So let me know what you think in the comments. And then here's our bottom floor. Right below Ashton's room is our open concept kitchen living dining. It's a really big kitchen living dining. And we've got our usual 100 baby things like the display case. This works like a fridge and your toddlers can grab food out of it. It's super nice to have. And then out here, we've got our buffet table that she can serve food up on. We don't have food and I'm out of money. Okay, we're, we're gonna figure this out. I have a plan, I have a plan. We've got another little public bathroom a beige infant room. I don't really support beige babies in real life. Babies need color, but in The Sims, it just looks really lovely. So it doesn't really matter. They can be beige babies. And then we've got our toddler room, which I have a sailboat painting I need to put up here that Ashton has in her pockets. But here's that. We did a sailboat theme because we are living in Brindleton Bay and there's this beautiful little sailboat area out here. So it felt extra appropriate. And right next to that, we have a big project room. We can expand this room, but once again, budget. And the projects are really nice for the kids to do so they can grate up a little bit faster. I did just toss a swing set outside for like aesthetic purposes. And we've got a nice big backyard. Ashton is still a mermaid. So I'm thinking we'll eventually add in a pool or something out here but once again we ran out of money so we do need to set our lot traits because once we set these we cannot change them until we move we do like to have child's play on they gain skills faster when they have this but now we're going to turn on on ley line so this will give us a higher likelihood to have twins we should do one more we could do science layer we usually have our kids work on the logic skill yeah let's do that one so these are going to be our lot traits that we have it is a nighttime in our game. So we don't have very many kids in our household right this second. That is going to change. 
but what we do need to do is make them make money for us so we are gonna have ashton start another club she has to have a baby with me but we're gonna make her a family club we're actually gonna make two family clubs the first one being this one that is gonna make our kids fish the kids can fish for money and they get just as much money as the adults do i know you can have your kids craft for money but it's a lot of work on my part whereas fishing is more of a set it and forget it which for the 100 baby challenge when we end up with a lot of babies is going to be helpful and the second one being a skill gain club where they just do the things that we need them to do to gain skills like homework science table and play chess hopefully that will help us kind of streamline this a little bit better ashton is currently pregnant she just got pregnant at the end of last episode with johnny zest baby i think we're gonna seek out jeffrey landgrab as our next baby daddy because after that we're obviously gonna have a baby with grim but by the time you're seeing this the new pack is out but it's not out for me yet so this will be posted on friday but i'm filming this on wednesday so it might be a little bit weird but grim is obviously next on my list i feel like that's a given let's check on the needs for everyone else not great okay we don't have food though i really should have thought this through a little bit better i should have brought that food with us we could just serve one we could serve something cheaper and he can eat that we're gonna start a skill gain gathering as well so they can start working on their skills we need to get some homeworks and stuff done before tomorrow starts is there a place to fish close by it's so dark over here well we're on the dock so surely there's somewhere that they can fish i'll have to check in the daytime the baby is a sleep but not sleepy so i think we're gonna put yasmin down to do some tummy time although i think ashton was giving her a nap nap time's over yasmin skill building time you guys know the drill i think yasmin was born at the very end of last episode so i don't think she has anything although she's angry that we put her down oh also we've got some crystals i need to put those back out i have them in ashton's inventory i did not lose them this time we got the gnome and the little skull this can summon the grim reaper and the gnome is plum bite and it gets all their needs up it's the best thing that ever happened to this 100 baby challenge oh and we need to put our sailboat down the sailboat's gonna go right here above the potty line that's so cute okay i did also have this one that i wanted to put somewhere but it's so tiny i don't know where to put it i say we sell that we could use the money anyways more tummy time ashton oh i guess i need to do a roll call real fast okay we've got ashton who left the baby wade who should age up tomorrow because his twin aged up yesterday xander who is our kid sim and for whatever reason refusing to eat this he's saying he's eating it but he's not eating eating it and then we've got yasmin who is our little baby who is asleep here on the mat right now ashton we need to be productive so it's time for you to start writing can that not go on this table there is no way that doesn't slot oh my gosh okay we might have to get a different table i guess we don't have to get a table with an umbrella maybe that was the problem okay yeah the umbrella was the issue so ashton is just gonna have to have no umbrella but we're trying to make ashton be a writer because the royalties that we would get for that would be really really nice wade completed his extra credit and he needs to go to bed how about you be blue wade are you still not eating that food oh my goodness i'm gonna do that i promise i'm not gonna keep doing that but for whatever reason he's not eating it so cheating is what we're doing and i do need to auto the light so our bills are not absolutely ridiculous ashton get off the computer you're gonna get mad that you're bored i feel bad to do this to you ashton but you won't cooperate you'll choose to write on the ones inside and then get mad that you are are having to be inside so how about you come right on this one that's outside that seems like a better idea you'll be happy because you'll be outside there she goes he's going to bed now and wade is also in the bed now so i think we're solid although our infant is awake and a little hungry so we might need to have ashton come down here and situate that oh and her hydration's getting low we'll set yasmin to get her grab milestone and then get ashton some food and maybe let her take a little bath or something something for her hydration we got a reach milestone changing over to playing with toys so we can get a grab if you didn't know the way that we play the hundred baby challenge is teens and children have to have an a in school to age up toddlers have to have level three in all skills and infants have to have two milestones in every category but life 
So that's kind of what we do. I don't necessarily talk about every time we work on skills or every time someone gains a skill, but that is what is happening. No, do not wash dishes, Ashton. We have to put them in here because we get money. We got a little mermaid bath happening and I'm gonna just let her go to sleep. She's not super tired, but Ashton has a lot of traits. So she has needs no one, hardly hungry, expressionistic, laid back, knowledge, seldom sleepy, still bladder, attuned, and naturalist. So she has a lot going on. We did used to have one that made it where we didn't get stinky as quickly, but I guess when we turned into a mermaid, we lost it. So that's a little disappointing, but I guess it'll be okay. We'll keep her as a mermaid for a while. We got a grab milestone that's just happened downstairs. You never did your homework. Oh no. Okay. So this kid needs to do his homework first. His needs are okay. I'm letting the baby, what's that? to this toy a few times to see if we can maybe get another social and then we'll have Ashton after she gets a little bit more sleep come do some tummy time we've got school in an hour I really need him to get this done oh and we've got a self soother on our hands which is nice actually so Yasmin's asleep we're sending kids alone as per usual we always said the kids to study hard so they are set for that now oh he's scared though from a thunderstorm Oh, wow. That sure is a thunderstorm. Okay, wait, I kept it. And now that we're in Brindleton Bay, it might be the best thing we ever did. I have this amber and when it's charged, the weather will become sunny. I think we might need that here, but I don't have a crystal crafter, so we might have to buy one. How about we do a little star? It'll be like a little gold star. We don't have money. Okay, okay, we've gotta get some money. We're gonna have to let her paint. I promise I'm not gonna keep having her paint, but we do need to sell at least a couple to get a little money in our pockets. We're just gonna have to. Oh, our laptop broke, okay. <laughs> it's spooky days tomorrow and the welcome wagons here <sighs> all right well that's some money at least i don't want to deal with the welcome wagon are you the only one is she the only one okay okay let's go give her a cheerful introduction because ashton's got some a really good charisma so cheerful introduction we'll cancel the welcome wagon we'll craft that crystal <laughs> Legs pet enthusiast, sure. All right, thank you. Welcome wagon over. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're a mermaid. We can call clear sky. <laughs> I don't know why I forget that we're a mermaid and then I'm not used to playing with the mermaid so I forget of all the little perks that they have. However, while we are a mermaid and we can call clear skies, I still think it would be nice if we had this. That way we don't ever have to worry about it. We can just keep it sunny here. Oh, oh, we have a baby. Oh, we have a baby, a hungry baby. Oh, she got her coup though. Ashton's on her way down. We do have our little star crystal finish. So let's get that out on our charging grid. I say let's focus on some tummy toms when she takes care of Yasmin's needs. Although she could also use a bath. Her hydration's low. Oh, we got an A student. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Can you please bake your own cake, Wade? We kind of lost the last one. Oh, wow, your needs are so bad. Okay, let's let's get you situated. All right, we got a lift head milestone, so that's good. Now we just need a roll over and then we can do the bubble bath. Wade got his cake made, so let's add some candles for him. This kid won't eat that food for some reason. I don't know what to do with that. He refuses. He just sits there. Everybody else ate it, as far as I know. Maybe that like one food is bugged. How about you just grab a quick meal then? Let's just throw that away. I don't know what's happening there. And let's let Wade blow out his candles. Last trait, self-assured. And using James Turner's website to get an aspiration for him. Generating that now. And he's gonna be a championship rider. And that means he can move out. Also, my dogs have just made an appearance. So if you hear any tippy tappies around, that's gonna be their little toes. And a way to finally gets to join his twin Will over in the Newcrest. And we are down to only two babies. I think this is the smallest household that we've had since we started this challenge. But we need to change that. We need bigger households and we need to adopt a cat. So maybe we'll go ahead and do that. We need to get everyone situated first though. Oh, we needed to look for a fishing spot. I don't think there's a fishing spot. Oh no. Oh wait, oh wait. It's a little haul down here, but they can come fish and still be on the lot. So there is fishing spots. They're just a little far. We need Ashton to serve up an assortment. I feel like we've got to prioritize that over getting a cat, unfortunately. <laughs> she can still paint really fast. Just for some quick money, just until we're able to write some more and start getting royalties. We need more kids in the household though, so we can make more money off of them. I feel like that's a spot of the 100 baby challenge 
that I have not done well. I need to make money from my kids. I'm gonna let Xander play a game or something. His fun is so low, it's kind of bad. Oh, oh, we got the rollover. Perfect, wait, is that all we need now is the bath and bubble bath? Okay, perfect. Let's get a bubble bath from Ashton. All right, that means we have two milestones in every category, so time to age up. Yasmin aged up and she's gonna be wild. And it looks like we aged up in some sort of horse sweatshirt, so that's something. We'll add our little candles back. I'm gonna set Ashton up to paint another painting. Oh, Yasmin, come get some food. Her needs are really bad. Oh, Ashton finished a painting that was worth 2,000 simoleons. I feel good about that. Now we have a little in our pocket, a little wiggle room, so we can have her start on the writing to build the royalties that we're looking to build. I gave Yasmin just a quick little makeover, so here is a quick look at all of her outfits. She's kind of got like a blue and yellow theme. I don't know why I picked color themes. It just makes it easier to dress the kids really quickly. All right, Ashton, time for you to come do some writing. We've tried writing so many times. We still have not finished even the first book. And now she's got to repair the laptop before we can even start back. So, oops. Oh, and it's raining. Oh, call clear skies, call clear skies. That's a hazard, <laughs> fixing an electronic in the rain. I think our star-shaped gemstone started working because the rain had gone away before Ashton called the clear skies. Anyways, let's resume writing. She's literally just trying to write a children's book. How many episodes has it been a lot <laughs> it's been a lot maybe it just maybe we can get it where she actually writes consistently if we have this gemstone that makes it where it's sunny and ashton has the ability to call sunny weather if we need to maybe we can keep our laptop safe and leave it outside hopefully because if we have to keep bringing it in and out somebody's gonna be repairing the laptop an awful lot it must have been just that one plate because he ate that no problem so that food item was maybe bugged i'm not sure it is spooky day i don't think they miss school for spooky day no they don't good <laughs> which is extra appropriate because by the time you're seeing this episode halloween would have been yesterday so happy late halloween i hope you had a good one we reached writing at level five and have yet to finish a book it looks like she's almost done though oh my goodness we finally finished it it is an excellent quality at least that's something let's sell it to a publisher then i guess we need to get our mail while we're out here oh it's saturday the kids didn't have school anyways i don't know what i was thinking i I'm being silly. Time to get up. Time for you to make this family some money. Go get your social need up and then you're coming to fish. Oh, and you've got a loose tooth. It's raining again. Aren't you supposed to make it sunny, Crystal? Aren't you? You're charged. Work. Okay, well, my new issue though is that that's not making it sunny. Oh, you're still in fishing. Sorry. You don't need to be in that club anymore, buddy. That was my bad. I took him out of the other one but forgot about that one. Oh, we got 61 simoleons and royalties day one that's not so bad can you call clear skies again i don't know why it's not working that does take hydration away honestly though the plum bite's out here so maybe i'll let her come repair this again <laughs> i feel bad to keep doing that to her and then we'll get our energy up while we're sitting out there you need to go fish okay you're fine your social needs good enough oh she can write a lot now i think ashton would write romance books let me know what you think she would write but romance books feels right to me and this kid is fishing now which is what we like to see. Just for fun, I'm gonna be naming them after some of my favorite romance books. So the first one's A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Moss, not by Ashton, but hey, you know, whatever works, works. Is it snowing? It's sunny now. I think this needed to be further out. I still think I might need to try to make a point to keep the laptop in Ashton's pockets, but this gets fishing and that is getting us some money too. He's only got two, oh, three fish, but hey, anything helps. By the time he's a teen, he's gonna be like an expert fisher. I bet he catches really good fish. Ooh, ooh, okay, we finished another book. A Court of Thorns and Roses, normal quality. Okay, we hope for better but we'll take it and we'll sell it to a publisher oh and we have a toddler oh my gosh little toddler i am so sorry i forgot about you i'm gonna have ashton come help you potty okay after she puts her book in the mail oh does he get mental from fishing wait that's pretty good maybe we don't 
do logic and we just have them get their fishing skill instead? Oh, I need to greet a trick-or-treater though. I'll try. We do have to potty train the baby first because she didn't need to go potty. Give this person a treat. I'm gonna get potty help one more time just because it's really convenient for toddlers to be able to potty by themselves. We do need to wear costumes though. Let's have Ashton be Princess Leia. She loves it. I need to go meet Jeffrey Landgrab. Maybe we could go trick-or-treat at Jeffrey Landgrab's house. Oh, toddlers can wear costumes? Wear costume. How about a little monster? Oh my gosh, how cute. Oh my gosh, Xander, I'm so sorry. Those are some really, really bad needs. All right, let's pull out that tooth. Let's wear a costume. How about you be a sausage? And then maybe run home really fast and let's use the bathroom, get some food. <laughs> oh no. I don't think he's gonna make it home. No, oh, no, sure didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. Well, how about you come shower? We'll get you situated, I promise. Was making him fish all day a really mean thing to do for sure? However, he did make make us a little bit of money. Not much. Honestly, not as much as he should have as long as he was out there, but that's the price you pay. Ashton's uncomfortable from bad potty guidance. I think that's the first time we've ever gotten that. Also, oh, we are in our third trimester. Xander's off to bed. We need to get Yasmin to get a little bit of food. And then I guess we could go ahead and start working on Yasmin's skills. Ashton is feeling fine. So maybe it's a good time for her to come sit out here and do some writing. Of course, though, it is raining again. <laughs> Brindleton Bay has the worst weather. I feel like if I put a head cover on her, it's not going to be helpful. Like if we put a roof up here, she's just going to feel like she's inside again. So I don't really know what to do for her. I guess maybe we just have to make a point to bring the laptop in if we're not actively using it. Let's write another romance book. I think the amber only works when you're near it. Like if your sim is close by to absorb the charge. So I feel like that's why it's not being that helpful. I feel like if she wore it or something, but now I've already cut it, so. This is A Court of Mist and Fury. It is the second book to the series that she just started on. And she is getting the benefits from the plum bite, which is nice. I'm waking my toddler up. We're gonna start skill gaining. Her attention's low and so is her fun. So now seems like a good a time as any. We're not gonna be with her tomorrow to skill gain, so I figure we might as well go ahead. Ashton likes writing. <gasps> Wait, we might could move her inside. Oh, and she wrote a book. Good job, Ashton. So happy for you. I will pop the laptop in her inventory though, just to be safe. And let's sell our book to a publisher. It's a normal quality and it's a nice a flirty romance book. We love to see it. And her needs are good. It's 7 a.m. on a Sunday. I say let's go and see if we can meet Jeffrey Landgrab. Also, Apollo is in his cat cam spot. I need to fix it though. There we go. Is Jeffrey home right now, do you think? It says he's home. Do you think the Princess Leia is gonna sell him or should I change clothes? Jeffrey, oh, there you are, Jeffrey. Ooh, a flirty introduction. We can discourage, that's not nice. We're gonna be nice. We want him to like us after all. We can just sprinkle in a few little flirtations here and there. We can flatter him. We know too many people, that's the problem problem the club ends up causing is like all of these are our children that we know. So then it's hard to find the new people. Oh, maybe we could find him under like romance. Not yet. Oh, he just fell off the treadmill. <laughs> could you get off the treadmill and like talk to me actually? Would be lovely. He is flirty. Oh, good. He finally got off the treadmill. Mill. Treadmill? Treadmill? Sorry, I'm so Southern. <laughs> the treadmill. Oh, look at all that money we're getting. Wait, writing is definitely the way to go. Did you see that? It's not a ton for just like the three books and the little time that they've been out. But once you write a few books, like that adds up so quick. And then you don't even have to do anything. We didn't do anything today for that. It's already done. Oh, an awkward encounter? Probably because your son's standing right there. I imagine that's pretty awkward. Was it me? I'm not awkward. Can we kiss him, do you think? Is Santa have a very awkward encounter, but she's not awkward and all of the stuff is still going well? So I'm pushing on. I just like don't understand how he's not showing up there yet. I don't even know how I know this Sim. How did we even meet that Sim? I don't even believe that we know her. I think that's false. Oh, first kiss, first kiss. Oh, they're sexy dancing. Okay, the sexy dance in the Leia costume, not on my bucket list, but fun. Wait, Jeffrey, no, come back, I wanna kiss. Oh, Jeffrey went to go tend to his other baby. How do you feel about adding one more, maybe two more to the list? Okay, so here's my next question. We have the on lay line, on lay line, I don't know why I have such a hard time saying that trait, they kissed, but like, do we 
we have to get pregnant at our house for that to work or can we get pregnant anywhere let's have them woohoo we should have woohooed in the shower wait woohoo with jeffrey in the shower we can get our, our hydration up while we're at it oh no nancy might walk in oh no she left she went to the baby all right woohoo in the shower that's getting our hydration up although would she technically have turned into a mermaid i don't want to think of the logistics of that we're gonna we're gonna just leave that one be but now surely surely no i still cannot add him to my club you're lying he's not there hopefully i'm not like just passing by him and you're all like he's literally right there but i do not see him we can take ashton home really the whole point was to get to know him so we could just call him up when it was time to get pregnant again but other things on the agenda today let's get a cat and let's get a hamster now that we've got a little money in our pockets we've got a couple of books starting to make us some royalties I would like to make more money because I do want to have that room decorated out as quickly as we're able to. Let's start with the hamster because it's already here. Oh, wait, I already have a hamster. <laughs> oh, I thought I had to buy a hamster to go in here. The neglect. Oh, no. Poor little hamster. Oh, I feel so bad. I'm sorry. I'll give you a treat. I'll play with you. I'll ask you about your day. <laughs> That was so silly of me. Why are you upstairs, child? No, 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 no. Come down here. It's time to do some skill building. Wait, I think it undid all my stuff. I queued her up for so much. Oh no, she did it. She must have done it because he's happy now. We need to name him though. I had somebody suggest the name Chubbs and I think that's so cute. So Chubbs it is. Let's write another book while we wait for the kids to do other things. Oh, and we got all the toys from the mail. We can sell them. The kids don't need those. We do. Oh. Oh, oh, okay, wait, we might craft some of those. More likely to give birth to twins or triplets. If you stack those, I wonder what happens. Like, does that really up your chances, do you think? Probably. Let's uh, write another romance book. I'm gonna write the whole A Court of Thorns and Roses series. That's like my goal at this point. A Court of Wings and Ruin is the third book. And then while Ashton's up to that, we can focus on our toddler, who need-wise is decently solid except for thinking, which is pretty standard for me. I am gonna send Xander down to play make-believe in the tent so I can have Yasmin watch him while he plays in the tent. I just need him to stay still for a minute. And now we queue up all the watches. And we do have a sleepy toddler on our hands, so I do think we'll go through this set of watches. And then we're gonna have to let Yasmin go to bed. Level two though, so she can do the blocks by herself now, which is something. That was it for our watches, so let's do some knee taking care of. We'll have her potty, we'll have her grab some food, and then get her in the bed. And then I think Xander was in knee of a little assistance too so we'll go ahead and take care of him i say we'll take care of him and then i'm about to send him off to go fish again i mean you gotta do what you gotta do we just need a little money here and it's a little too early for him to go to bed anyways oh oh ashton just went into labor okay okay luckily we just have these cribs down here so let's have our baby having a baby as princess leia is absolutely wild behavior we got a baby boy and we are on z now so let me go grab a name from my comment section for him. Let's go with the name Zane. Oh, oh, okay, wait, we got two boys. <laughs> okay, how about Zach? All right, <laughs> two boys. I thought that the lot trait wouldn't really start working for us until we got pregnant again, but apparently it works now. Something to be said for that. All right, let's call up Jeffrey Landgrab before it is too late. He is coming over to hang out. I have Ashton's room locked for everyone but Ashton right now, so I think we're just gonna have them woohoo in the shower. The toddler's finally going to bed. All her other needs are good, and it might be about time to bring the child child home. I'll let him fish just a little longer, at least until they're done woohooing. Ashton needs a little privacy for that, I think. They are trying for a baby in the shower now, and apparently they got a sentiment. Love that for them. Oh, Xander called an electric part upgrade. Good job, Xander. That's 134 simoleons Xander just made us. Good job, buddy. Let's take a pregnancy test. And then I'm gonna go ahead and let Xander start coming home. It's probably about time for him to go to bed. Ashton's pregnant, perfect. Okay, good. And then did they change the baby pictures? They're like up higher than usual, no? We do not keep our babies as a basket baby, so let's go ahead and age them up. 
We got a calm one. Oh, Zane's calm. Okay, good. And then let's age up Zach next. And Zach is going to be Wiggly. Okay, perfect. We'll go into cast and give a quick makeover to the two infants. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, so this is Zane. I kind of like the little sweatshirt he's got on. So maybe let's give him an orange color scheme. I usually go blue and green. So I'm trying to branch out a little bit here. So this is Zane. He's got like an orangey yellow, like a few brown outfits, but you get the vibes. And then I think for Zach, what would be a fun color scheme? Let's maybe pick an outfit and go from there. Let's give Zach like a black and white vibe. More white though. I think that could be funny. And just something that we don't usually do. That way they're a little easier for me to tell apart. White on an infant would be an absolute nightmare. And he seems to like to wear hats. So maybe we'll let him. He had hats on with two outfits. But here is a look at him. And they actually have the same hair and everything. I think I'm going to leave it just because it's a little realistic. So here is a quick look at that tracker now, except actually we need to take Wade out of our household. So we've got a four baby household. And then here is a look at all the infants that we've had. If you were curious about names or the numbers that we're on, I guess let me hide me in Apollo for a second. <laughs> but here's a look at all of those infants. But we have finally completed the alphabet. So let me know if we should start the alphabet over or if we should pick a different kind of name theme and leave me your suggestions for either a names or whatever theme you think maybe we should go for next. And this is a look at all of the baby daddies we've had. We are pregnant with Jeffrey's babies and the two twins that we just had were Johnny Zest babies. Of course, next episode, we will have the new life and death expansion packs. So we will definitely be having a baby with Grimm. But if you have any other townie suggestions that you'd like to see as our next parent, go ahead and let me know those names in the comments as well. But on that note, we are going to be ending this episode right here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, comment a cat emoji in the comments below because I forgot to get one. I said a bunch of times in the episode that we would get one and I went and forgot. I promise. First thing, next episode. Also, let me know what kind of cat you'd like the family to have if you have one in mind. You guys know I'm a little partial to the orange cats. So, you know, if, if nobody leaves me suggestions, it's going to be an orange cat. As always, I hope you guys have the best rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.